Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got these uh, two identical uh, circles uh, fully inscribed in a rectangle uh, C, D, E, F, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that uh, these uh, circles uh, are tangent to this uh, diagonal uh, F, D at point uh, A and uh, B. And moreover, the dimensions of this uh, rectangle C, D, E, F are uh, given to us as uh, 9 and 12 respectively. And now our task is to calculate uh, this length uh, A, B. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Let's go ahead and focus on this uh, shaded circle whose uh, center is uh, O. And here's our next step. We have uh, connected uh, this uh, center O with these uh, points of tangency N and M, as you can see in this next diagram. And uh, we can see that O N is the radius of this uh, circle. Let me go ahead and label this radius as lowercase r. And likewise, uh, this O M is the radius as well. So I'm going to label that one uh, as well. And now let's recall the circle uh, theorem. The angle between the radius uh, and the tangent will always be exactly 90 degrees, as you can see in this uh, diagram. And in our case, we can see that these uh, C, D, and uh, F, C are the tangent uh, lines, whereas this uh, O, N, and O, M are the radii. So no wonder these angles have got to be 90 degrees each. And we also know that this uh, angle is uh, 90 degrees since we are dealing with this uh, rectangle uh, C, D, E, F. So as a result, we got this uh, square C, N, O, M. And since we are dealing with this uh, square, so all these uh, side lengths are uh, congruent. So therefore, uh, this side length has got to be lowercase r and this side length is going to be lowercase r as well. And now we know that this uh, side length of this uh, rectangle is uh, 9. So therefore, uh, this uh, side length uh, is going to be 9 units as well. And we know that this side length uh, is uh, lowercase uh, r. So therefore, uh, this uh, side length has got to be 9 uh, minus r. So I can write uh, 9 uh, minus r and likewise let's focus on this uh, side length uh, we know this is uh, 12 units and we know that this side length uh, c m uh, is lowercase r so therefore uh, this uh, length uh, f m is going to be 12 minus r so i can write uh, 12 minus lowercase r and now let's recall the two tangent uh, theorem according to this theorem if two tangent segments are drawn uh, to one circle from the same uh, external point then they are uh, congruent as you can see in this uh, diagram and as a result we can see that this uh, line segment uh, OA is equal to this line segment uh, OB. So therefore according to this theorem in our case uh, this uh, tangent uh, FM is going to be congruent uh, to this uh, tangent uh, FB. So therefore, uh, this length has got to be equal to this uh, length. If this length is uh, 12 minus r, then this length has got to be 12 minus r as well. And likewise, uh, this tangent uh, ND is going to be congruent to this uh, tangent uh, BD. So therefore, this side length has got to be equal to this side length uh, as well. So if this side is 9 minus r, this side has got to be 9 minus r as well. And now let's make an observation. We know that this whole diagonal FD is equal to the sum of these uh, two individual uh, tangents uh, FB and this uh, tangent uh, BD. So therefore our FD length uh, has got to be, I'm going to substitute 12 minus r plus uh, 9 minus r as well so therefore our fd length turns out to be 21 minus 2r 
And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, bigger right triangle uh, FCD. Uh, and we are going to calculate this uh, lowercase r radius. So therefore, we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem. And here's our Pythagorean theorem, a square plus b square equal to c square. Let me go ahead and uh, call this side uh, a, this side uh, b, and this uh, longest leg, this diagonal uh, c. Now let's go ahead and fill in the blanks uh, in this uh, formula. So a in our case is 9. So it's going to become 9 square plus uh, 12 uh, square equal to we know that this diagonal fd is 21 minus 2r so i'm going to write down 21 minus 2r whole square so let's simplify that's going to give us 81 plus 144 equals to 21 minus 2r whole uh, square. Let's go ahead and undo this uh, square by taking a square root uh, on uh, both uh, sides. So the left hand side is going to become uh, 15 equals to here the square and square root is gone. So we ended up with the uh, 21 minus uh, 2 r. Let's go ahead and move this uh, 15 on the right hand side and at the very same time I'm going to move this uh, negative 2 r on the left hand side. And as a result, we got uh, 2 r equals to 21 minus uh, 15 or simply 2 r equal to 6. Let's divide both sides by 2 to isolate r. So therefore, our radius uh, r turns out to be 3 units. So thus our this uh, radius uh, r turns out to be 3 units. Now let's go ahead and substitute these uh, values uh, for r over here. I'm going to replace this lowercase r by 3 and likewise over here uh, 3 as well. 12 minus 3 is going to give us uh, 9 units and here 9 minus uh, 3 is going to give us uh, 6 units. And now let's make an observation. We know that both of these uh, circles are uh, congruent and they are uh, tangent to the very same uh, diagonal FD. So therefore this length uh, FA is going to be congruent to this uh, length uh, BD by symmetry definition. So therefore our length uh, FA turns out to be equal to, we know our BD length is 6, so FA length is going to be 6 uh, units as well. And here's our final step. Uh, let's make an observation once again. We can see that this uh, length uh, AB is going to be equal to this whole uh, length uh, FB minus uh, this uh, length uh, FA as you can see in this uh, equation. So therefore our AB length is going to be, let's go ahead and fill in the blanks over here. FB is uh, 9 minus FA is uh, 6. So therefore our AB length turns out to be 3 units. So thus our AB length turns out to be 3 units. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.